this video I'd like to demonstrate a uh, method of, of, of adjusting a water line and profile. Um, here you can see clearly that I have a water line crossing through my uh, drainage system and I just want to simply adjust that uh, portion of that section and drop it so that it's no longer clashing. So I've got the water line profile shown in view 2. Um, so I can, um, and you can see that here in view 1, that's the water line. And I want to go ahead and, and show the crossings of that on my profile. So we have a, a tool here to create 3D cut in the, water, in the uh, profile view. And what that will do is it will slice the model, um, either the entire model along the profile, or simply just a corner method in this case where I decide I just want a particular portion of that profile sliced in 3D. So that's all I'm concerned about at this point is just this area here. You can see in view 1. So I'm simply going to um, use the corner method and then I'm going to begin my, begin my start point here and I'll stop up here at this station about. And so that'll create in that area a slice of the 3D model and I can see my crossings show up or anything in 3D that may have crossed. And so this, um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this profile. Um, and I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use a uh, microstation tool, break, to kind of break this profile and then re design what I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the break element tool. And <coughs> you can, you know, I can come here and, and choose the element that I want to break. So I can, you know, snap to a point any of the vertices, the VPI points. So it's up to you is, is where you want to start this and then where you want to end it. So for example, maybe I'll go all the way to here, station 845 in this case. So that breaks that line up. And now I want to go to my geometry tools and I'm going to use um, complex by PI and I'm going to draw in what I want it to be. And again, you can you know, have a feature definition set up that you want to use. And I'll sit here and I'll just simply, you know, draw. And I have AccuDraw running as well. So for example, here's the bottom of the pipe, 52, 59.5. So maybe I want to drop that to 52, um, 57.5, you know. So I can eyeball it or I can uh, key that in, you know, station offset. And then, of course, here I have the same information available for the other crossing. And maybe I want to drop that as well, you know, a couple feet below to make sure I have good clearance. And then, you know, tie it back up here to the um, profile, to wherever I want to tie it. Okay. So we'll draw what we want it to be. And now I just need to complex those together. So profile complex by element. I'll select this guy, this guy, that guy. So now I have a complex profile. I can select that, hover over it, set it as active, and it will recreate the profile in that area. So that's just an example of modifying a profile and you can see in the 3D view as well that it no longer clashes as it did before. So another example of modifying a profile um, of a waterline using the microstation break tool and then your vertical geometry tools.